Alright, in this video we're going to be covering King's Rage Art Management and when you should use Rage Art, when you shouldn't, and uh, just some basics of what to do. So once your health gets down to, uh, once you've taken 130 points of damage, you enter in Rage Art. Uh, you have a total of 170 health and that's with all characters, and so you have only 40 health left in order to kind of activate rage. That should also be an indicator that if you want to take out your opponent at kind of max rage distance, you need to be doing a single move or a combo that does 40 damage to kind of knock them out. Uh, so basically what we first want to talk about is what it looks like. Uh, you, you can either do forward, down, one plus two to kind of activate it, or you can hit the dedicated button of uh, hitting R1 or whatever button you have mapped to it. Uh, we're going to refer to that button as 5 um, to kind of activate Rage R. We also have his uh, Rage rage Drive, which is down back 1 plus 2, which shoots him up in the air, which I've covered in previous videos. Why they're turning blue is because we have the recovery animation on, um, but everything looks just the same. We're going to do some analysis to show how much negative frames you are on a blocked raged art, uh, so that's going to come later. The first thing that I want to point out is while you're in rage art, uh, while you're in rage, some of your moves uh, start generating more damage. And so while this jab combo usually just does 22 damage, now it does 23 damage. Instead of just doing, I believe it's 18 damage, now we're doing 22 damage, and so on and so forth. That means all of your damage output that you have for your normal combos is going to be increased while in Rage form. Now with that, we see a lot of people that kind of finish off matches um, with the Rage Art. And so rather than finishing with the uh, Running Jaguar Bomb, we finish it with actually the Rage Art. Um, all that does, especially with King with all the combos that I've shown, and I just showed a very basic one, it just increases the damage output by two. Um, so you really, unless you want that guaranteed kind of hit, because it's a little more consistent of simply doing a dash and hitting that five uh, to get that damage in, typically it's going to be better of just staying in rage and just finishing with a normal running Jaguar bomb. Uh, so if they are at high health, you almost never ever use the Rage Art as is. Uh, because once you use the Rage Art, you lose Rage, which means you lose all that extra damage that you could put towards combos. While I'm talking about that, I do want to point out that while in Rage uh, form, there is a better variation of kind of the hop kick combos that we can do, which I'll demonstrate now. And so, with that, in our previous video of showing max damage, we just had uh, standing four, in which then we went into the combo, and it does the exact same damage that if we did this kind of forward chop, but because we're in rage art mode, it actually increases the damage of it. So in, uh, with those two hits normally being the same, with this combo, with the damage reduction and the plus rage, uh, Forward 1 plus 4 is actually going to increase that combo damage by a total of 1. And so that's true not only with natural hop kick, but back turn hop kick uh, of getting that down. Um, and all other variations where I pointed out in those videos of just similarly to hop kick, you can now do forward 1 plus 4. Other than that, um, with the damage increases, we also have access to the rage drive, which is that down back 1 plus 2. Again, as soon as you use it once, you lose rage for the rest of the game. So you're looking to score either uh, a really big whiff punish, because it has really good range, it comes out really fast, and then what we saw with our max damage combo, it can do an upwards total of 85 damage which a, with, a, with this rage drive. So it takes out um, not quite half the health, uh, but a very good portion of their health if you hit them with that. This Rage Drive also can be used if the opponent is is knocked down. If you ever need to kind of finish that last damage 
Um, I mean, that's a solid 19 damage that you're able to finish off. So if they're really close, or you could even possibly throw out this raid drive if they're trying to get up, and then you could possibly put them in a launch state to finish off more combo. But again, I would more use it for either a pressure tool, and if you're going in and you think there's an opening, you can surprise them with this rage drive, because it looks a little bit different than the natural crouch dash, one plus two. Uh, and you might be able to get this off. It is safe on block, but what's not safe on block is if we start the uh, rage art. Rage art after block is like minus 23, minus 24, somewhere around there. It's something ridiculous, which means any competent opponent, when they see you in rage, it's almost best for them just to kind of block, especially with King, which comes out as a mid, because after that mid, everyone's going to get a launcher and probably their most damaging launcher. So be very careful, because of all the online play that I've seen so far, it gets down to the point your opponent doesn't know what to do, and so then they just kind of throw it out randomly. And all you have to do is block it, score the damage. Not only have they wasted, wasted rage, but you should be able to do at least 60 damage to them. Um, so let your opponent make mistakes and just capitalize it on it. And that's basically kind of the name of Tekken. Uh, but I wanted to show you just an example of... Uh, so I set the opponent to block guard and then set to mimic status, in which I'm going to do Jin's up forward 3, which comes out at approximately 22 frames. Uh, as soon as I do Jin's move, I'm going to hold back on King, but it's still going to hit. Uh, it's not going to show up as Punisher. It doesn't show up Punisher for any of these variations, uh, but it does do a clean hit, which shows that this move is entirely just not safe. And that's at 23 frames. So just as a gentle recap, once you reach Rage after losing 130 health, uh, do not use kind of your Rage Art only until you're going to close out a fight and you're guaranteed to kind of close out that fight or you can continue on pressure during if you if you and your opponent have approximately the same amount of health or if your opponent has about halfway health so they're at 70 damage left you can use it as just kind of a pressure tool since you are then very good with frame data um, if they do end up blocking it it's a really solid mid and also it's grounded opponents or you can use it as a final kind of damage ender after a launcher, uh, which we previously kind of explored after uh, a spot or after the tailspin attack of just kind of dashing up, hitting it for kind of that easy, flashy finish. So with Rage Art, King has natural armor, and this is with every character. And so for this example, I would more recommend uh, if you ha are closest to your kind of max. Rage damage of to soak up one damage point of armor. Typically, people will do about 20 damage on a single move, uh, upwards of 30. But if you have about 40 health, which is your max rage damage, you're just looking for your opponent to start to commit to a move, hopefully a longer move, or if they're being really aggressive, you can get it in between a string um, to to not only get them with the rage art but you're going to get a little extra damage because of the critical hit. So I've set up Jin uh, to do up forward three kind of a move list, and we're going to see that, that it's going to hit. But as soon as he kind of moves, we're going to activate this Rage Art. We're going to take that damage, and it's going to show that it's a Punisher, and that Rage Art is going to fully go through for that 55 damage. Um, so 55 damage is out of range, so even if they're not in Rage themselves, you can close out a match with that um, armor move. The only other armor move that King has is forward 2 plus 3, which is the shoulder rush, which if you're already ahead in life, um, it's a good thing to do if your opponent is doing a lot of kind of slower moves or a lot of strings in which you're able to kind of push it out. Just remember that the only time when it this can be hit and blocked is if your opponent does a, a jab or a single jab and they just hold back because the, you'll stun them uh, enough with the jabs that you'll be able to hold back 
and kind of just stop all that damage. And to kind of show that, I'm going to set up Jin to do uh, his armor move and show that you can get the jabs off and block safely. And so with that, it shows that we can actually get off that jab, kind of one, two, and then we can block after his armor break move. So just be careful if you're running into an opponent that's spamming their armor break move, that you are able to get off the jabs and just block and continue your kind of defensive game, uh, especially if you feel that they're being cheap and trying to close out a match with um, a life lead. You can easily start getting that back if they're relying too much on this armor break move. Um, this is not true with the uh, Rage Art. Rage Art's still going to go fully through that because when you damage in Rage Art, it doesn't freeze your animation, and so you're able to get that score. scoring hit. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. We covered Rage Art, kind of Rage Art management, and we also talked a little bit about armor moves and how to use them effectively for King and even defensively if you're losing a lot to your opponents with those shenanigans. So until then, we'll see you guys next time.